one. Let us first design part number three that is bearing bottom half. Material used is brass. So let us take a look at the board drawings. Here the dimensions are shared between both part three and part four since they are similar and we have a cross sectional view also. So go to sketch and select front plane. Now here we see that the profile starts at a offset, offset distance from the center line. So let us draw a vertical line and then we will start drawing the profile. Just draw a rough profile, later we will dimension it. So we have three steps. Here, from center to that height, let us uh, draw a dimension. And the value is 25 mm. That is half of 25, it will be 12 point. 25 because here the inner dia is 25, so the length will be half of that, so it is. 12.5 so next dimension is 35 so we have to take the half of that that is 35 by that is 35 by 2 The next value is uh, uh, 38 that is from center to step 2 half of that value will be 38 by 2 enter 38 by 2 that is 19 mm distance between center and the third step is half of 50 that is shown here that is 25 mm and from center to now the distance between center to the steps is shown here in part number 4 so from center to the first step is let us mark distance between center and the first step length of first step is half of 22 that is 11 now the distance between center and the second step is half of 36 that is 18 and the distance between the third step that is the total length is 50 so we have to take half of that value that is 25 now we are done with the rough profile. We are done with the complete profile. So let us draw an axis for revolution. Click on return. Now select the profile. OK. Select the axis. Now enter the value as 360. Sorry. Since we are making only the half of part, enter the value of angle as 180 degree now we have the profile that is half of the half of the complete part so click on mirror mirror copy select the body click the mirror plane now we now we have the bottom bearing so here we see that there is a projection of uh, 6 diameter and uh, to a height of 5 mm so for that let us insert a plane to a height of to draw a 6 mm dia let us we have to insert a plane so let us position the bearing now the plane should be at this level so that is 
from center half of 35 mm plus 5 mm so go here click on parallel plane select the plane and now enter the value as 35 by 2 plus 5 mm so enter the value as 35 by 2 plus 5 mm so we have the profile we have the plane now go to sketch and click on the plane which we have just created now draw a circle of 6 mm at the center Uh, dimension the circle to 6 mm click on return now we have to uh, protrude it go to protrusion select the profile click on that now go to finite extent here it is from like from and to so from this plane select the plane and now to this surface so click on the surface now we have the profile which is start from the plane and ends at the surface so click on tools now enter the material material for the bearing is brass let us check that once so uh, yes uh, bearing for the bottom half and the top half is brass so enter the material as brass here we have something called as brass that is yellow brass so we we don't need the yellow brass so just enter brass and uh, add that to library and then click on apply model then go to file properties summary title as bottom half bottom bearing or bottom half bearing then go to project dot in number 3 bottom half bearing As previously told part number 3 and 4 have the similar dimensions so uh, in order to make part number 4 we will just modify part number 3 so we can save a lot of time so the difference between part number 3 and 4 is that here there is a 5mm of protrusion and in part number 4 we have a hole so we have to replace the protrusion with a hole of 4mm dia so go, go back to model and in the list remove the protrusion delete that so now we have the simple bearing and now we have to make a hole so for the hole it is since it is through click on any of the plane you even you can click on the top plane so just draw a circle of 4mm dia Go to smart dimension and enter the value as 4 mm and, and then click on return go to cutout select the profile click on ok and just drag it since it is a through hole you can just drag it now we are done with the hole so go to tools now enter the material table and enter the material that is brass apply to model then go to file properties summary here it uh, changed that uh, as a bearing top half or top bearing half 
then go to project part here document number four and bearing top half so by this way we can save a lot of time during exam but we have to be careful that we will not mess this up so here save as click on save not save click on save as not save so save this as part number four remember part number four click on save thank you